What is up, guys? <clears throat> Jane Poop here, back with more Resident Evil. And in the last video, we have uh, been through the courtyard uh, to the courthouse area. Um, and we fought a Plant 32 boss. And then we went back in the mansion to find out there were hunters. And we fought the giant poisonous snake again, which was not poisonous anymore. In this video, uh, oh, and we did a few more stuff as well. Uh, uh, I can uh, too many to list in this video. We're going to do uh, We're going to go through the path that we have opened because we have uh, not only got the uh, battery for the elevator but also we've risen the water up again, so We so So we can no longer go where we used to go, but we can go in this elevator because we made it working now And now we can um go to this uh, secret so here we go. Well, technically it's not secret, but you can see here, there's no longer a waterfall there. We can go in there now. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes. And this is where the rest of the game takes place. Here we go. So we're in like an underground lab area. And over here, there's a save point. And over there is the rest of this area. Hole is open. I cannot jump over. Right, so we cannot continue that way yet. But so we have to go uh, somewhere else. Uh, so here we go. Oh, Jill, what, what good, good timing. timing! A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Will you go with them? No. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, okay. are you alright? I can go first if you want me to. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. I understand. It may be more dangerous if you come behind me. Be careful. Okay. Well, it's not too dangerous, but... Barry? Wait, what? Okay. Uh, what have I done? Oh. That was too close. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Okay. Then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry! Okay, why on earth would you fuck off first and then come across the hunter? Because uh, it made me scared slightly, but still. And I can't see a thing. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's, uh, it's a power generator, but it doesn't seem to work. I don't want to read it again, come on! Uh, is that... Oh yeah, first aid spray, we definitely want that. In case, even though I've got uh, something else here. Oh yes, more of these. Yes. Is there anything else? No. I, I know it's a power power generator. What's this? What the? Oh, I think it both is. Okay. Okay. They said we go behind Barry, but and we're in front of him. Okay. So the game literally lies to you. Come on. I guess the game doesn't know how to do it. Um, yeah, I don't know how I activated that cutscene because I don't remember seeing the Barry getting the hunter cutscene before. But <laughs> wow! All right, we're in a dark place. Um, is there anything this way? Yeah, there is. But I think we go through this door first because this is very spooky. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. 
Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh? Oh. Enrico! What just shot him? I don't know. You couldn't have moved because of the this injury. He's holding something. Oh! Oh, it's just another clip. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we don't know what shot him. Um, but we heard something walk. So we don't know. We're going to have to see outside ourselves. Oh, there's a hunter! Oh my god. Oh, and there's another hunter. Oh my god. Right. Here we go. Boom! Whoa! The camera is changing. Very cool, actually. I don't know why. But, okay, what's here? Oh, that's the generator. Right, we need to do something. Uh, this door? Because this is where it gets slightly tricky, I think. Um, oh, there's a hunter! Oh my god. Gotcha. Uh, maybe we go this way. Or oh, I might be going in circles here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going in circles. Oh my god. It's a power generator. It does not seem to work. Like, okay, I don't know how where I'm supposed to go. Because I forgot some parts uh, where I need to go. But it literally looks like I'm just going around in circles, it seems like. Unless... We... Oh, there's a hunter there! Oh my god. Wait, they're back? They come back? Wow, that was cool. I probably shot them both, or... Or maybe we get out, or... Are we supposed to place something here? And then something happens. Let's get out and then see. Uh, that's the ladder, of course. Oh, but then again, that way's the save room. There's a hexagonal. Okay. I am so confused now. I have no idea where I need to go. Because obviously the ladder brings you back up, so... That's weird. Because I know we're supposed to do something. I forgot what you need to do. Unless there's something else through that door. Where Barry is. Or oh, unless you're supposed to... Oh! 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 Something's here. Oh, okay. But I don't have enough room. Oh my god. Oh, it's just the body now. Barry's gone. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll use that. There we go. So then, so then we have room for this. Um, do, 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 a crank. And this is a different crank, by the way. You cannot use the one we already had. So... Because this is a totally different one. Uh, it's a different shape. So... So it won't work with the uh, one we had before. So, so we need to go back to the where the save point is, uh, because that's where we need to go. It's weird how the game doesn't tell you things. Like it doesn't tell you to get out of the room and then come back in just for the crank. Oh my god! Like I completely forgot about that. But then we go here. Then we use the crank. But it's not the only time you use this crank, you use it in other places too. Okay, you're still turning it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. And we just go in this door right here. To go through it. Oh, it's that thing. Uh, where we're supposed to put something on. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, you run back and then the boulder right here. You want to run quickly as you can over there. So you don't so you don't die. Yeah, you have to do Raiders of the Lost Ark here. Uh, and then music plays. Oh god, there's a hunter. But what's this here? Oh, it's just flame rounds. Not useful. Oh wow, that was a good shot. Right, there's flame rounds there. So that's not really important. But the boulder revealed a path. Right here. That we can go in. Oh, but you hear something. There's a spider! Right. I'm gonna use this shotgun. Oh my god. Okay, I'm fine. Oh my god. I think every time- Oh, okay. Every time I get shot- Oh, now I'm poisoned. Okay. Right. We're gonna have to use those blue herbs later on. Uh, what's that here? Oh, it's a knife and we actually need it. Okay, right. Like, we could- We could have had our own knife as well, but... That won't work. So we're, lo we're losing health badly, so... We're gonna have to use this. So, we're still on green. But we have this knife. And you want this knife because... Um... Uh, because of one thing that's blocking us. This thing right here. We want to knife it. So it takes the game ages long to load. There we go. And, right, I'm still fine. So we have two knives now, for some reason. And, uh, here. Um, I think this is another puzzle room. I think this one is. Oh, no, it's an item room. Okay, um... Right, uh, that also works. Um, we got two knives. Okay, um, I'm gonna combine those together. There we go. We will need this crank again, so, um, so I don't think we can just put it away now. Um, do, 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 do. In fact, we use the Magnum now, I'd say. So... So the Colt Python. And I'll, I'll just move things around here, so... The Beretta. Shotgun there. Alright, uh, I believe there were more Magnum rounds I saw. Yeah, there were there. We completely forgot about them. There we go. And we'll take these with us, so... Uh, so we'll most likely use um, the Magnum now, along with the Bazooka. So we didn't really use the shotgun too much. Uh, we'll put this uh, away as well. And we'll need that, so... Do, 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 do. And I say I'll use that in, if I get, like, low elf or something. In fact, no, uh, what I'll do instead is... Yeah, I'll use a combined one. But I just so happen to have a green herb with me, so I'll... Because I think I saw another blue one, so... I'll use that. Alright, we'll put this away. The shells. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, here we go. Okay, we've we've moved things around, so here we go. Yeah, it's a blue herb. So then we can use that. In fact, can we use it on its own? Yeah, we can! Uh, okay, uh, so we don't need to use that. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take it anyway, in case I take a bit of damage, but... Okay. Uh, and of course there were ink ribbons there as well, so... Do, 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 do. We're spending a lot of time in here. Um... Okay. Alright, we're coming back for that, so... We've got 40 ink ribbons! Oh my god, that's a lot for saving. Wow. Alright, there we go. Uh, and again, we will need, um... The, um... We will need uh, the crank and all that, so we'll just uh, get. Uh, we'll just have those. So that's everything here. So I'll have this equipped, and when the bazooka stuff runs out, then we'll use something else. Oh, snakes there! Oh my god! Oh, and here as well. Definitely want to be careful there. Yeah, you can kill them like this. Do 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 do! Are they? No, we're not poisoned. Okay. Uh, I don't know if those snakes are poisonous though. So, All right, we'll go here. Yeah, I'll use that. Um... Oh, it's an elevator because there's something through there. But I believe there's more stuff first. Oh, of course, this boulder. We need to run away from. So we need to be quick here. Gonna hit her quick! There we go. And that's so it reveals a path. And also, the map of this area, of the underground. We definitely want that. And there's something here. It's an MO disc. You want that. And then you also want the crank here as well, so... But you'll want to do this a couple of times. So you can reveal the right path. Uh, first off, is there anything this way? No, it's pointless there. So you need to do it again. So then, I don't know. No. Nope. So we need to do it again. So then it reveals the correct path we need to go. And then on pause, and then there we go. This is the this is the way we need to go. This is, I believe, this is another puzzle room. Oh my god, this music again. Yeah, it's another puzzle room, so what we want to do here is... want to push that statue here. And then I think we... No. Uh, I believe we... Uh... Okay, um... Uh, I have... okay. Or... or wait. What do I do here? I can't use the... Um, I can't use the crank because, the, because of the statue. Do we push the statue, like, here somewhere? And then, then we use the crank, I believe. Can't use it here. Can't use it. Oh my god. 
Or does the statue have to be in a certain position? Oh, there we go. So then a wall pushes it. So then what we can do is push it back. Like there. What the fuck? You know, there we go. And then we can push it from here. And we need to put this statue on this thing that we were standing on. So then... So then we can get something from there that keeps opening and closing if we step off and on it again. So what's here is a Doom Book 2. Yes, the Book of Doom. Um, so we need to check it again in order to reveal this masterpiece. A silver coin, a wolf medal. Uh, so yeah. And... And what we're about to come across is where we use those medals. Uh, but first off, I need to put stuff back. Uh, use the elevator. It, it's up on the elevator there, so that's where you need to go next. Oh, snake. Oh, my God. Stupid snakes. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, Alright. Get in the box. Full of items. And then the Mo Disc. Uh, where the Eagle Medal is. I don't think we need this crank anymore. So we can put that away. Um, yeah, we got two cranks. Notice the different shapes. Yeah. That's why. Uh, what else we need? Um... Let's change the order for this. There we go. Oh my god, we've also 100%ed Super Mario 64! <laughs> Just kidding. Um, two knives. I uh, kind of wish you could have two weapons at once. And use two at once. That would be cool. Uh, nothing else we need, so... Okay, so... Next up... We're gonna go to the elevator. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, before that, I'll get those, um, those flame rounds as well that we missed from the first boulders. I'll get them first. So then we're collecting them. There we go. Uh, it's right this way. Now, I believe here, I don't think you can use it with Jill, but I believe with Chris Redfield, when you go here, you have a flamethrower attack, uh, which a flamethrower weapon, uh, which you find on these things, I believe. Uh, but obviously, I'm um, with Jill, so we don't we don't get to use them. So, But if you're with Chris, you can have the flamethrower uh, weapons. Uh, but you cannot keep them, so... Yeah, I think I think that I think that's how it works here. So, uh, oh god. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll get out. I could put that away, but don't really need to. So we're just gonna go here. So we're back outside. When well, we're actually in the courtyard, but we're on like another side, so there's something here, but we can't go there. So let's pick these up. Except we don't really have any room, so we're just gonna have to. Uh... So this is where we put the medals. We put them here. I uh, can't use that here, so I think that's for the silver one. Yeah, there we go. This is where you put them. And then you put the gold one on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Then it opens a path here. With cool FMV cutscene. So it gets rid of the water. This is supposed to be a fountain. And then boom! Uh, but we'll go there in a minute in a moment. We'll get those uh Plants first, I'd say. 
And we just have enough to to combine them, so. In fact, let's combine two green ones and a blue one to see what it's like. And then we'll combine this. Let's see. Oh, wow, it's like mint color. Okay. I guess we'll pick the... Pick it up, Jill, there we go. Oh my god. And the blue herb. And then we're going to go right here. I can't see, there we go. Let me go here, and we need to go here. It's off in metallic. And we go down from here. And then, this is like the last area of the game. This underground lab. We can't go through here. The door is tightly locked. There's a plate on the right hand side. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes, I will. So we're gonna go down here. And then item box is right here, so we can put things away when we need to. Um, I'll put this away. Okay, um... I don't, don't, I don't think we'll need this. Um, okay, um... Yeah, because by the time we finish it, we'll... So, I don't think we're going to use any um, of these, but the acid ones uh, just basically put acid on enemies, I believe. Um, like, if I do run out of normal explosives, I'll use one of these. Um... Uh, the Mo discs we'll, we we we'll, will need soon enough, but we'll not use them for now. But we will need them in this area, and there's two more to find, I believe. So here we go. First up, there's a zombie here, and yes, you can explode their heads as well, but it's not in bloody detail this time. Kind of. All right, what's here? No green herb. And what's over here? Another green herb. Yeah, it's green, okay. And then here, we can find another MO disc. Another MO disc. And then, it's electronically locked. Oh. In fact, I need to put some things away, so. We'll just, uh... In fact, we'll use that, and then. We'll put that mode disc away, along with that green herb we've got. Put that away. And then this. In fact, we can combine that with another blue herb we have. Yeah, we'll combine them. Yeah, I'll mix them. There we go. And then there we go. Here we go. And then... Let's go down the stairs here. There we go. And it's so spooky here. Now these enemies right here... Yeah, you can kill them, but these these ones, unlike every other enemy, these ones do come back whenever you leave the room. So, so you're only killing them for no reason, so it's just best to go past them as you can. It's locked from the inside. Okay. Power room. It's tightly locked. Boom! Okay. Let's go here, then. And there's something down here. And we definitely want this. It is a s uh, slides. So we definitely need that uh, for something. Um, over here. Versions and chemicals. Nothing useful. Nothing special. Okay. Oh, and there's a computer here. This is what you need. This computer is used to open electronic locks. Would you turn it on? On 
Perella. Okay. And then this is where we need to log in. So, uh, I forgot what you have to put. So, I think it's guest. I'm going to... I'm just going to guest. Um, I'm just going to guess what it is. So, I think it's guest. If I'm wrong, then I'll have to look this up. Uh, guess. Let's see. And password, I don't know. I don't know. Um... But this is what happens if you get it wrong. <sighs> hey, just bang on the table. All right, I'm, I'm gonna have to look up what this actually is. Uh, okay, figured it out. Uh, so, and believe it or not, this is actually a reference to the second game, uh, Resident Evil 2, uh, uh, of a certain character name. So the login is uh, John, uh, just like that. And then the password. There's two passwords. Uh, one is a reference to the other game. The other is not really related at all. So, uh, I think it depends on which one works. Uh, so, first one is a reference to the second game. So, it's Ada. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, then... Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. Then, and then we got to select for Now, if that password doesn't work, then the second password... Oh, wait, no, I think the second password is used for something else. Oh. Um, I think, anyway, uh, I could be wrong. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's here, so... So, I think the second password is mole... think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so, it's not ran So, it isn't random. It is across every uh, part of the aim. So, now for B3, I'm going to open every floor. Yes. Unlocked. Quit. Yes. Just like an old school Windows 95 PC, uh, what the umbrella PCs are. <laughs> it's probably a custom version of uh, 95. And yeah, you can see those enemies are back. Because these these will come back. Well, it seems like some are gone, but yeah, you can see those ones are back. So, so yeah, you're going to have to be careful here, unfortunately. Okay, so at least most doors are now open, so we can go through most of them. Uh, that room's dark, so we need to do this. There's a switch where you push it to turn on the lights. Seems someone used this only recently. Um, there's another plant here. There's another green wee plant. <laughs> okay, no. Alright, um... Uh, I'll use it. Except I can't, so, um... Uh, what's in this box? What's in the box? Clips, of course! Um, I think there's something more use- Oh! Oh, there's another clip! Okay, there's two clips, wow. Oh, there's a picture here. Something is written on the picture. Uh, it says... Uh... Um... Max and Pimax. I don't know what they mean. There's a bookshelf there. Is there anything here? No. Uh, there's a bookshelf here we need to push. For this light switch. The switch where you push it. Yeah. It turns it blue. Oh, and then when we go... Oh, so tree, apple, man, woman. Okay. <laughs> and then naked as well. Oh, boy. Um... It's not really useful, though. Uh, really. I don't think it is. Researcher's letter. Oh. Like, it looked... Uh, the password, I think that says mole, but it looks like it says morm. <laughs> because it doesn't look like an L. 
It looks like a reverse one or something, um, which makes it look like an R. John Ada. Yeah, it's a reference to the second game. Um, Alright, um... Okay, what's this way? Oh, there's another door. That we need to go in. Oh, there's another zombie! Oh, and of course... I'm just gonna use my bazooka and so... Doo -doo -doo. Got you all. Facts. Okay. I'm not gonna read all this. No time for this shit. I'm just gonna. Oh my god. That. That. Picture. 1998, it says. And then Excite. I don't know who that woman's supposed to be. It kind of looks like uh, Tomb Raider's Lara Croft to me a bit, but. That's why I always thought it was, but I don't know if it is. Oh, these things. This is where you put your discs in. Uh, yes, this is where you put these in. So, is there anything else here before we leave? Um, uh, uh, no, not to read that again, but in a different angle. Come on. Anything in the bookshelves? Fiction books. Okay. Um, so, there's nothing else here. I'm guessing the other rooms will have uh, these mo disc slots and all. So... Uh, let's check. Yeah, I think that does. Yeah, oh. It's locked. Oh wait, I think there's only three Mo discs, and uh, we got them all, so we need to put them in all these slots. So let's go back and get the Mo discs. All three of them. Or there might be another one, I don't know. In fact, is that door open? Visual data room. Oof, okay. What's in here? Oh, this is where we put the, um... Okay. Uh, this is where we put this. In. Umbrella ink. Bio... Bioweapon materials. MA39. Cerberus. Fee free Neptune MA one hundred and twenty one Hunter T two Tyrant. Why did I say T two? I don't. I mean T O O two. I'm not referencing Terminator two. Uh, uh, fuck all, nothing. Um, bioweapon research institute R and D staff. And oh my god, one of them just looks like Wesker. Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Oh. And is that all we use this for? Is there anything else? Nah, it just lets you, yeah, it just lets you read it again. Okay. How is that a Neptune? That's a shark. <laughs> I mean, that's meant to be something blank or something. I don't know. Uh, what's over here? There's a panel. Will you open it? There's a switch. Will you push it? Of course. And then it moves something. Oh, there's something there. I wonder what it is. It's a key! A lab key! Uh, it's, it's a phone. Oh, it's an intercom, not a phone. Um, okay, um. Anything here? Security system! Okay. I think this is where you get the. No, no, it cannot. It can't be because. Uh, we have to open this room anyway. Right, we could just just fuck off this room, and then God, we're gonna not run into the wall, Jill. Uh, just get in the door and get in the item box because we need to um, put shit away. Combine those. Can't use it. Right. 180. Oh my god. Now we'll put that away. 
Uh, is there anything else we need? No, I don't think so. Alright. Oh, yeah, the uh, MO discs. Uh, okay. So we're gonna replace those somehow. So there's three of these. Is there anything else? No, okay. But then there's one problem, we don't have enough room for the others, so... We're gonna have to do something. In fact, I'm not really, um... No, um... Uh, in fact, we'll come back for it, then. Because there's literally a few things we can open already with it, so... So we'll come back. Oh god. I think we'll go in this room. I think two of these rooms will have like the disc slots. So right, that's the room we've been in. <laughs> There's the Lara Croft painting. I don't know if that if I don't know if it is Lara Croft in that painting. Uh, passcode, yeah. Uh, I, I, any of these will work. It doesn't matter which one. So, passcode one. I can barely see that. <laughs> okay. Oh, unless we use these to put against those um. So that, uh, so that thing for, uh, for the door, this thing, here. Yeah, we use it here, okay. Um, so we need to put the, this disc in another one. I don't, I, I don't know if it is in this one. I don't know if there's another one in there. Uh, no, the fucking isn't, okay. Um, because it's the, it's the dark room, of course. So we'll go back to the item box and get the other Modisk. Oh, God, search, search, search. Why am I fucking dying all the time? No idea. And then. There we go. Hmm? Nice. The mo disc, and then uh, st stop running into the fucking wall, Jill. S seriously, what is wrong with you? All right. And then I believe it's those other doors that we can unlock now. So, God, you just. <clears throat> God. One, two, three. Oh, I couldn't kill both at once. Seriously. Can we go in there. It's locked from the inside. Oh. You have used the lab key. Oh, we don't need it anymore. Okay. I could have used the key there first, and then. But then again, I won't be able to carry all the discs. Okay, oh, and there's a zombie there. Headshot him. Okay, we don't have a lot of those um, shots left, but... Oh god, this shoe. Oh, the shotgun shells. Um, I think that is. Yeah, there it is. And we're also close to an item room, so... We don't really need to... Um, I do much here, so... Except if you step on that, poison gas comes out. And we gotta get out quickly. Then when you go back in the room, it won't be poison gas, so... You gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, it's this room, there's an item room. A save room. Yeah, so... We don't need to walk all the way now, so... Unless you want to, I don't know. 
There's quite a few other items here, so... We'll combine those. No, not the shotgun! The shells, there we go. Yeah, 93. 93! No, not the sh not replacing the shotgun. Seriously, no, not the lighter. I don't think we need the lighter again. Um, okay, I'll put things away for now, just so I can uh, freely get things here. So, there's this. The blue herb again. And then this. The f oh, flame rounds, okay. I think I'll use them after the... Um, after I lose the other then. Right. right. There we go. Mix the herbs. There we go. Is there anything else here? No, there's no ink ribbons. Oh, is there anything in these books? Yes, there is. Oh, it is an ink ribbon. They're in the books. <laughs> oh, I get it because I think you use an ink to write in the book. I don't know. Then combine those for 44. No, not check! Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go, green herb. In fact, we'll keep this green herb. Why not? And then... I'll get this, uh, flame round, so then we have more of those. Uh, is there anything else to put there? Well, aside from those MO discs. I'll use that, why not? But there's two more MO discs, so we'll just uh, grab them now. There we go. Okay, uh, so that's everything here. So let's go to the other room. Yeah, back in here again. I believe we're supposed to do something in order to, um... Yeah, you see these crates? Yeah, you want to push them over those fence. So then the uh, gas don't come out. So you want to also... You, so you want to definitely be careful to not push the, the red switch and all. So we're going to be very careful. This is very tricky, but once you get a hang of it, then, yeah. Right, and then we need to push that. And then, okay, here we go. So we push it here. I'm gonna push it here. But then again, uh, no, don't push the switch. Oh my god. Don't be a bitch, Jill. Please. You really need to do this. So then when we... When we put that over the fence... When we put this over the... Uh, the, uh, the, the switch then... We're not going to have any gas come out. So... Yeah, hopefully. So... Jill, there we go. So then we need to go around here. Then we need to push again. There we go. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? That didn't fucking work. Wow. Wow, okay. I have to do all- I have to do that shit again? Come on. What the fuck? But you get the idea, guys. Uh, you basically get the idea. Uh, it's just very tricky. Like, are you serious? You have to position it correctly. Oh shit! Why the fuck did I press it? 
Oh my god. Turn around. Oh, I've got to crack my back. Oh, nice. Okay. No, 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 don't push that, Jill. We need to push this block first. Well, not block, but a crate. Then. So we push that further slightly. Then. The Jill, don't. Okay. Alright, oh, for fuck's sake. We're gonna go around here. So about enough that we can push to get there, so... Here we go, we'll go around here. Alright, and then we can push this all the way there. So we can push it from all the way there, so... Here we go. Alright, that should be enough. Oh, for fuck's sake, we gotta... Move that, there we go. Hopefully, we can do this now. And hopefully, it doesn't fuck up. Like, seriously. Push, 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 push. Okay. Hopefully, this works. Because it's hard to get the timing right, so. Right there. Please work. If not, then. Oh, thank God. Then you climb up here to go up here. There's an air shaft. Will you enter it? Yes. Then we're on the other side. And there's something here. Oh, it's just more magnum rounds. Okay. Um, and that's the door to get out. Anything else here? Oh, another modisk thing place. That's a good thing. Passcode 2. Which we can't fucking see again, so... Not that it's important anyway, because you don't have to look at it yourself. This place seems to be a morgue? A morgue? Uh, a morgue? I don't know how the fuck you say it. But, um... Let's, uh... Get out of the door, you've unlocked it! We've region unlocked it, there we go. And we're out of this room, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, lovely. Seems to be a vent thing there as well, but... No, oh, thank God there's no enemies. Uh, I believe... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't this way, it was... There's one more mo disc. okay, so we, we need to go back that way. There's another one of those things there. There we go. There we go. And then... I believe it's this way we go. Yeah, because there was something there. There we go. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. There's no reaction. It has no power. Oh, what the fuck? Am I supposed to power this? Oh, oh, we go the other way. I think we go the other way. To hear a, a sound. Oh, this is where these enemies are. I'm still fine. We go here. Just shoot it, there we go. We gotta be careful here. There we go. Another one of those things, oh my god! Oh, there we go. We got one more normal bazooka shots left. And after that, it's the flame rounds. leads down, okay. You're not getting enough of this noise. Oh my god. It's so noisy. 
What's this here? Uh, we connect it. Power isn't supplied to the elevator. What the fuck? There's something here though. It's triggering system activator. It's quite big. Okay. Maybe we do something before this room then. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Another one of those. There we go. Passcode free! Still can't see shit! There we go. Now we can go through that room. Alright. Here we go. And then... Oh, is there something else here? Oh, aside from him attacking us, of course. Oh, we just killed him, there we go. Right, that's run out, so we can just use those shots now. Anything else this side? Oh god. Oh, except he's still alive. I think it's because it's fire, there we go. Power point, some areas do not have power. Activate. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back in that room then and see if we can um, use it again. It's not there, Jill. It's that side. Is there anything behind here? No, it's just another path. Okay. Well then, here we go. Right, yeah. So noisy. Oh my god. And then... Let's go back here. It's pretty interesting back there. Quite big. Right, no, it's not that. It's this one. But th what the fuck, Jill? Seriously. It's this thing right here. Oh, okay. I guess it's working now, okay, so there's no need to go back here. Here we go, then. Uh, this way. Here we go. Let's go back to the passcode area. And then, uh, do I need to put things away? No. I don't need to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god! I absolutely hate sneezing. Okay, back in there. And then, let's go here, because we can now go through here. Passcode. Enter the passcode. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got creepy music again. But there is something beyond here. We got 19. So let's go here. See what is beyond here. Jill? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Okay. The door is tightly locked. Okay, is there any... What's that? Why is there a switch there? Okay. Yeah, we'll be back, Chrissy. Alright, <laughs> alright. I don't know why I'm saying that, but... Okay. Well, maybe we go to that elevator now. Uh, I think that's where we go. Alright, let's see. If that's the case. Let's 
Oh god. It's that thing. And we burned it to death, okay. Burn you to death and all. Okay. In fact, I'll, I'll equip the Magnum now, why not? I'll just, okay. There we go, let's have the Magnum equipped. So then we're still having a more powerful gun. So here we go. Let's go here. There's no reaction. What? what? Just switch. Oh, there we go. Jones. Now. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Open this elevator. Or lift, if you want to call it that. And they're just standing still, they're not even socialising. <laughs> Is that anti-social? I don't know. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Barry! Sorry, Jill. How was your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. It was cool FMV here. Get a creep.
creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Right, so this is the boss against the tyrant. So what you want to do is you want to keep running away, and I don't have any herbs. You want to keep running because he will always hurt you. And this is where your magnum comes in. Oh, I killed it. Actually, the magnum's so powerful. All right, let's go back to Barry. Barry? Barry? Oh, thank God he's alive. You're alive. Let's get going. Like I thought Barry was gonna die, was di gonna die there, and I thought I would get like a bad cutscene, but no. And there's the tyrant down there. Ah, just the camera. Barry's in the way. Ha 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 ha! You lose. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Um. Okay. I guess the Magnum's so powerful that it kills him in only a few hits, or it might be because we're in beginner mode still, but yeah. It takes not a lot of hits, wow. He's incredibly hard to Wesker? He's gone. The triggering system has now been activated. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. But there's one other thing. We need to save Chris Redfield as well. We need to go back to Chris first. Right. So we need to go to Chris Redfield first. Uh, like, I know where he is on the map, but... Where else is there on the map that we need to go? Oh, these enemies are here now. Oh my god. <sighs> I was not expecting that, but... Okay. Right, so... We need to go here first and get Chris Redfield. I hope... I hope we can anyway. say if he's still here yes we can go in there now we say Chris Redfield oh Jill sorry for keeping you waiting so everything is done well almost yes now let's go we don't even get to explore this room <laughs> okay Oh, so then Chris will follow us, okay. Okay, there we go. So then I believe we go back up the stairs. And then, remember that thing that we couldn't open? I believe we go there. Let's go! Was there need for that? Because we, I, we knew we need to go that way anyway, so... <laughs> why would you fucking show us? Um... And I believe it's up it. Whoa! You're not getting me today, boy! Okay. I believe we go up here. 
Let me find these zombies. Yep, it kills them in a single hit. One, two, three, boom. Headshot, lovely. Okay. Another zombie. No, I don't want to check it. I want to... Okay. Okay, I don't know why I'm combining, but still. Whoa, tons of more bloods coming out of the head. Oh my god. Alright, uh, we can put the, um... Let's go! Before that, let's put things away. I don't think we need this bazooka now, so... Let's put that away. Okay. Okay, we'll put that there, and then put this uh, lighter down here. And we'll just fill our things with herbs and all that. Or how about first aid spray so we can show off how they're used. So yeah, let's fill our thing with first aid spray. And uh, one ink ribbon, why not? Uh, we'll, I'll move all these down. Let me just, uh, just bear with me here, guys. Um, Okay, I'm just going to move all these herbs down here. Okay. Because uh, I just like to move things around for some reason, so... Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. And Chris is still waiting there. Okay. Um. Yeah, there we go. Is there anything else here? Nothing else. Okay. So that is everything we need. Not that we need the ink ribbons, but we'll take them anyway. So let's go. Let's get going. It's a ladder. Will you climb up it? Yes, we definitely need to. So then... Hurry! Okay, so we need to go here. There we go. The old, the old, the both Chris and Barry are here. Okay. We go through this corridor. Oh, oh, there's something here. Definitely want that. So yeah, using a using a first aid spray just acts like uh, just acts like the herbs. There's no reaction. There's no power. So this is where you put this in. Okay. Yes, we can. There we go. You have to be in a certain position. There is three minutes until explosion. Oh no! You must be kidding! After we've come all the way here! Ladies first! Go first, Jill! But Chris! Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. Okay, then we just go up the elevator while we see Chris wave at Jill and Barry uh, trying to use his gun while Jill goes up the elevator. And then this is the last part of the game. First we get this box here take the flare yeah you definitely want this and then you go here right here and use the flare here so then it shoots something up so then the helicopter can come and fetch us we've got 
got two minutes left. Oh my god. Then what is the helicopter doing? Meanwhile, the tyrant is alive again, and he will try to kill us. So yeah, this is the last boss of the game. This tyrant. While the helicopter is still up there, we got to fight this tyrant. And yep, yeah, he deals a lot of damage and all, so make sure you use your herbs here. Uh, herbs or first aid sprays, whatever you brought. Because he can run very fast and all, so you want to be very careful. And then... Oh my god. Lots of damage. Then get out of my way. Then we grab this right here. The the rocket launcher this is. Then we want to equip it. And we're running out of time. And then what do I mean? And then shoot. And this is it. Then, we all escape on the helicopter together. With these cool FMV cutscenes. Oh, so yeah, that is Resident Evil. Oh, it's a police helicopter. So what happens to the mansion? It explodes. And everything that's in there still dies. And it seems like we got the good ending. <laughs> yeah, Jill's head on Chris's shoulder. Barry practicing his gun. We don't know where Wesker is though. So Wesker was evil all along, yeah, he tricked us. Yeah, you thought Wesker was good, but no. He's just a bastard. And that is Resident Evil 1. And yeah, the credits look different in the DualShock version. Um, for some reason. Um, but at least this patch added this music back. Uh, Still Dawn. Uh, which is the best ending theme for this game. There's also there's also two extra songs that were only in the original Japanese version, one for the intro and one for the ending. And they're, it's kind of like the Mega Man games where they had those vocal songs changed to new instrumental ones. They, it was the same thing for Resident Evil 1 as well, uh, known as Biohazard in Japan, where they changed them. But they changed them in later Japanese versions as well, even Director's Cut. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, Resident Evil 1... Well, not, not that good of a game, but it is still, like... Um, a, a great classic on the PS1, the PlayStation 1. And I guess Sega Saturn as well, but most people played it on the PS1. So, this is being played on the PS1 classic, so... Yeah. Do, 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 do. And yeah, the credits look different. Uh, I don't know why they removed that uh, montage of characters uh, in the game. Or in the Japanese version, original, you could also get one where it shows clips of characters getting killed in a variety of ways. Uh, uh, which they removed in later versions. I think some PC, PC versions have that feature as well, but we don't know which ones, though. So... So yeah, I kind of wish they added them back here. I believe there's one uh, hacked version of this which adds them back and it puts them all together. So all of Jill's, all of Chris's, and the death montage. 
uh, all in one, and ex extends the music as well. But I'm not on that one, so... The music composed by, yep, that man who pretended to be deaf. Oh, and the Japanese theme! I guess it's not all of the Japanese theme, but still, I was not expecting that. And is that meant to be Jill? In bed or something? Or in her normal clothes? Okay. No saves at all, wow. <laughs> and it was four hours in total. Okay. You've got the special key, find, lo find closet. So that's for that um, room that we could not enter in at all. Uh, I think that's for extra costumes, I believe. And yes, we can save here. I don't know if we need to bring our ink ribbons, but this is what saving's like. There we go. Wow, so yeah. So yeah, that is uh, Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Back to the Capcom logo. Like, I was not expecting the Japanese theme to play at all, but wow, I guess they put both in at once. I was not expecting that. Like, I was just expecting just the international one, but okay. But you can see, um, you can see we've got our save here, and it's in green. I don't know if the green means um, the difficulty we're in or something. Uh, let's try and reload it, because it, it's basically New Game Plus. You have once entered, ag again entered, the world of survival horror. Good luck. What is this? Yeah, it's just the game wow. again, so... What a mansion! So, I'm gonna, I guess I can just reset. So, yeah. So, yeah, um... We have basically, um... Well, we've done Jill's playthrough, but... Uh, so in the next... A few videos uh, we're going to do the game again but with Chris Redfield with Chris Redfield um, uh, so uh, so we've done it with Jill Valentine uh, I have no idea why her surname is Valentine does that is she related to like Valentine's Day or something I don't know um, <laughs> uh, or she was born on Valentine's Day or something I don't know <laughs> whatever um, but yeah that was um uh, Resident Evil with uh, the original Resident Evil director's cut DualShock version with Jill Valentine. So next time we will do the game again with Chris Redfield, uh, one of the most iconic characters in the series. He's even in the the later games as well, even uh, uh, Village as well. Uh, it's one of the side characters. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's what we'll do next time. So I shall see you guys next time. Jump about. See you guys next time. Bye!